Hi and welcome to another DTG tutorial. So this is 2013 paper and it is uh, section A short questions and it is question A3. So the image below shows a sign outside of the office of a company called Key Technologies. In the sign, a uh, truncated copper pyramid is intersected by a triangular steel prism. The drawing on the right uh, below shows the elevation and incomplete plan of the solids which penetrate each other. A. Complete the plan showing all lines of interpenetration. Use a section plane to find the crossover points on edge D. Okay. The image below shows the keyhole logo which should be omitted in your drawing. Okay. Determine the true shape of the triangle ABC. Okay, so to do the interpenetration we have to look at the elevation and the plan. So the elevation and the plan here we have two sides, okay, left hand side, right hand side, right hand side, this surface here on the truncated cone is a flat surface, that's the edge view of it, and that's this surface here. So our top line here, so this is point C, and our bottom point here, B and A, are all going to stop at that point, and at that point there. So we can do the right hand side in the penetration pretty handily enough. So let's continue the labeling, so this is point C, and this is point uh, B at the back, A at the front, stay in the far side, C, B and A, okay? So if we project down where the points end on that flat surface, we can find where they end in plan. So by projecting these straight down it, I can find where they end in plan. So that means this line is B and A. So that is, send that over. We'll give you point B. Send this over, give you point C. Send this over, give you point A. So A, B, and C. So we can join those in. And be the same. shape, okay, same point as you have in the elevation, so A, B, C. And we go about drawing this side in strong to finish it off because there is nothing else worked over that. So let's draw that in strong. Okay, great. Now, next side, left hand side. So, same thing again, this is a flat surface here. So AB is going to be finished at that point, that can be projected down. C is finishing at the top here, and that can be projected down. But there is one more part to do. So let's join those points. Find them in plan for ourselves as well as I say. So point C is finishing right on the top here. And points A and B finishing this point there. So by extending, we can find our points. So this is point C, this is point A, and this is point C. But we can't just join A, or sorry, B up to C here, or C back down to A. We can't just join them in with the set square as straight lines, because they're not going to be straight lines. Okay, as you, uh, shown there by the strong line that's already given to you. Okay, what's going to happen is part, point C joins to this corner here. See that shape there? It joins that corner there before it goes down. It's two surfaces, top and the side. So it said use a section plane to find the crossover point. So it's basically you're on the edge DE. So to do that, we need to put in our section plane up here at the top. So a section plane is basically just a horizontal cut plane. So extending over that top surface. Okay, that's our section plane. So what we're doing is basically cutting off the top part of that uh, triangular prism. So if I bring this point here back down to the prism on the edge here to find out where it's cut off the top there and join the back to see and get our crossover point. So 
this point here on this surface on that edge ABC on a triangle ABC bring that point down that's giving me point here point there by joining them back to C I will see that triangular shape that I'm after cutting off at the top there so I'm after cutting that shape off the top using my section plane and by doing that I'm finding where that section plane cuts the line here cuts that DE line so we're across the DE is here and here so just extend down that DE line lightly that's given me now the two points where it goes from the top surface to the edge down here and now I can start thinking about drawing that in strong That is the interpenetration on the left hand side done. So that's part A done. Uh, B now determine the true shape of the triangle ABC. Again, true shapes, if you need a true shape, first thing you're going to have to find is the true length. So if we're looking at the drawing now, a lot of room left out here, not so much on that side. Surface ABC, that triangle ABC, and you need an edge view of it to find a true height. And we have two of them. We have the left hand side here and the right hand side here but because we have the room here I'm going to use the right hand side so what we need to do is the height from A to C there that height from the AB line up to C is a true height because it is a point view of the line AB so C AB point view here therefore that has a true height so I'm going to rotate that height down to the XY line so I can project it down to the plan so extend over the XY line Rotate point C So rotate point C down and around So now we have our true length here that's true length point C if I project that down so that's point C so if I project that down to the plan extend over the length down for C that will give me point C in plan and AB is a point view so AB is a true length here so we're going to use that true length and we're going to use our true height and we're going to draw in that triangle ABC and that is our true shape question done so a little interpenetration question there comes up as a long question so should be relatively easy enough to revise and it could come up in section A or section B so good question to revise so hope that helped if it did leave a like and again if you want to see certain questions done please leave a comment in the comment section below okay thank you and good luck